Hey everybody, I'm Mike Levy and we're back again from Sea Otter 2022 with another prototype. This one is from Digit and it's called the Datum. It's a 140 millimeter travel trail bike that you can run either a 150 or a 160 millimeter travel fork on. Now, there's a lot to cover here, but we're gonna start with the bike's proprietary shock that the company's owner, Tim, designs and manufactures himself. Now the shock itself is actually technically a strut because it's a load bearing member on this frame. Now that's important because Tim has actually designed this thing to use fork bushings. There's two fork bushings in here and that handles the lateral load. Now this is actually a 70 millimeter stroke shock on a 140 millimeter travel bike, which means it's a two to one leverage ratio. Now the shock itself actually runs all the way up to here. You can see the pedal assist switch here and this is also where you adjust the rebound with a small Allen key. The size of the shock means that it's full of a lot of oil, like a piggyback shock. And the more oil you have, the better it deals with heat and the more consistent it can be. Now another thing to mention here is that because Tim manufactures his shock himself, he has actually said that he could offer custom tuning as well and that the whole thing is really easily serviceable. We took the shock apart just on a table in the booth there. There's only a few pieces and it can be taken apart with some simple tools. That includes an Allen key, a strap wrench, and a Shimano bottom bracket tool to undo this collar right here. Not only that, when you do need to take the shock off, it actually doesn't come out from here. Once you undo this and use the tool to undo this collar here, there's a port up on the head tube, actually slides out of the top tube and out of the head tube. Now that means, of course, that you'll have to drop the fork to take the shock off your bike, but how often are you taking the shock off? Maybe once or twice a year, so I don't foresee that being a huge issue. Another thing to mention here, bearing mounts in the back. So that means that it's always going to be moving smooth. Now I know that proprietary word is scary, it scares me too, but Tim also said that the parts for this shock, well, you can get those online or even from a hardware store. The bushings, the seals, all that stuff will be super easy to get. And they're also planning on selling rebuild kits as well. Let's keep talking about the rear suspension, 140 mils of travel, and this is a virtual pivot point design. Now, when I say virtual pivot, you're probably picturing two links, like a Santa Cruz or a DW type bike or a, you know, many other bikes out there. But on this, I only see one, and that rotates concentrically around the bottom bracket. Now that's because that shock, well, that acts as the other link and it's, virtual, like a virtual infinitely long link. And that's how this bike pedals well and delivers its 140 mils of travel. This is a prototype and to get this thing rolling, Tim has actually used a carbon fiber rear end from Santa Cruz, but the production versions are gonna use an aluminum rear end and the entire frame is gonna be manufactured in America. Now pricing, $3,825 for a frame, shock, bottom bracket and headset. All right, let us know what you guys think of the Digit Datum in the comments below. And if you like it and you want to pick one up for yourself, the bike is going to be available in a few months' time. And stay tuned for more videos from Sea Otter.